Hi, I'm Mr. Wu Miguel. Okay, I'm going to discuss what is refractive index. Okay, before I do that, okay, let's take a look at a vacuum and with a few particles and water with the particles uh, quite closely packed together and glass which is a solid so we have the particles that are packed very very closely to each other okay so um, in this case if let's say I shine a beam of light through these four different medium the speed of light through the medium will be different when the light travels through vacuum there is no obstruction so the speed will be the highest which is at 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second when it passes through air there are a few particles so the speed will slightly slow down a bit so if you draw it off it will still be about 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second okay, when, when the light passes through water the speed of light will be decreased by quite a lot because there's a lot of particles inside so the speed of light in water is about 2.25 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and as it passes through glass which is the which is the densest because it has the most number of particles inside a fixed amount of volume the speed will become 2 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second okay with this we can we can talk about refractive index now Basically, every medium has its own unique refractive index. So what is refractive index? It's represented by a small letter n. It's equal to the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in the medium that we are talking about okay and in simple right we can represent refractive index n is equal to c over v c here means the speed of light in vacuum and v means the speed of light in the medium that we are talking about okay now let's try to use this formula to calculate the refractive index for each individual medium here okay for glass right the reflective index will be equal to C over V so it will be equal to the speed of light in vacuum which is 3 times 10 power of 8 divided by the speed of light in glass itself so it's 2 times 10 power of 8 in this case I will get a reflective index of about 1.5 okay so what does it mean that when I say that the glass has a refractive index of 1.5? Basically, it means that the speed of light in glass is 1.5 times slower than the speed of light in vacuum. Okay. Now let's move on to the refractive index of water. N is equal to C over V. 3 times 10 to the power of 8 over 2.25 times 10 to the power of 8 we will get 1.33 okay so basically it means that the speed of light in water is 1.33 times slower than the speed of light in vacuum okay for air same thing the speed of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by the speed of light in air which is about 3.10 3 times 10 to the power of 8 so in this case the refractive index is 1. Okay? And for and for the refractive index of vacuum, right, we are comparing the speed of light in vacuum together with the speed of light in medium, which is so vacuum. So the ratio will give us 1. Okay? So guys, um, one thing that we have to take note is that when we calculate refractive index, right? It's actually a speed divided by another speed. So the unit actually cancel out. So for refractive index, bear in mind that there is no unit. Okay? And basically, refractive index tells us how many times is the speed of light in that medium slower than the speed of light in vacuum. 
So since the speed of light in vacuum is the fastest, there is no way that the refractive index can go beyond, can go below, can go below one. So refractive index must be always greater than one. 